All right, in this video, I want to look at a little bit more of the limit laws. And this is kind of an important little result. It says, if you have a function that's continuous at some number a, it says, well, then the limit as x approaches a of the function equals f of a. So really what this says is, it says, if you have a continuous function to evaluate a limit, just plug in the number. That's all you got to do. So um, I think we can go through these, in fact, pretty quickly. So if you look at the limit as x approaches 1 of 3x plus 5 over x plus 4, if you think about the function 3x plus 5 over x plus 4, this is a rational function. The only place where they're not continuous is where they're undefined. Well, this is going to be undefined at negative 4, but that's not where we're doing the limit. So it says, well, to evaluate this limit, all we have to do is just simply plug in x equals 1 everywhere that we have an x. So we would get 3 times 1 plus 5 over 1 plus 4. Well, that's going to be 3 plus 5, or 8, um, over 5. And that would be the answer to our limit. So to me, basically, it seems like most calculus problems, when you see limits, it, remember it's, it's, it's bad to divide by 0. So as long as you're not dividing by 0, plug it in, and whatever you get, that's typically going to be your answer. Okay. So again, that's not true in general. But most of the functions that you see in a calculus course are going to be continuous functions. Okay. So. Same thing with the next problem. If you think about x squared plus x minus 6, that's just a parabola that's opening upwards. Well, parabolas are continuous everywhere. Well, it, in particular, it would be continuous at 0. So I'm just going to plug 0 in. So I would get, well, 0 squared plus 0 minus 6. Or it says you would just be left with negative 6 as your solution. OK, so here we've got x plus the square root of x plus 11. Um, and if you think about the function y equals x, that's a nice continuous function. Square root of x plus uh, uh, 11, that's just actually a square root that's been moved over a little bit to the left. Well, there's a rule uh, that says if you add two continuous functions, it stays continuous. And so again, all we're going to do is just plug in the number 14. So we'll get 14 plus the square root of 14 plus 11. Well, that's going to be 14 plus the square root of 25. Well, the square root of 25 just equals 5. So we get 14 plus 5, or the value to our third limit here would simply just be the value 19.